Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where it's time to take care of more sightseeing logs. We're finally back to sightseeing. Uh, we're gonna go for 10 of them today out of the 40 that are remaining. And our first one is going to be over in this direction. We are heading for coordinates 27.5, 8.1. So we want to go a little bit north then. For this first one, it's available from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. hours in time during fair or clear skies. Okay, uh, 27.581, so we want to head back west. Ah, okay. It is right here, looking at the gorgeous Crystal Tower. Yeah, that's a good spot. As if somehow back and forth from its hypogeal prison by the events of the Calamity, this skyscraping spire now commands a more in horizon. Through their research, the Sons of St. Quinoc have determined that the monolith, also known as Circus Tower, was constructed to collect and store the endless energies of the sun. So yeah, as mentioned before, it's effectively a giant solar panel slash battery. Uh, where Dalamud actually acted as an extra collector, an extra solar panel for it. Which is terrifying just how much power it collected... Anyways, the hint, it was a scene not of this world, a forest of crystal, and in the distance, a spire that stretched so high it could have touched the heavens. Such were the adventurer's words, and I would see as she saw. Alright then, next up. Here in North Thanalan, we're going for 26.5, 22.8. So, mostly going to be east from here. A little bit south, but mostly east. Okay, 26.5, 22.8, so just below me? Where below me? Oh crap. You're an issue. Alright, go away. Do not want... Oh god. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, maybe trying to use this to get experience for Black Mage was not... Mmm. Sightseeing spots actually don't give experience! For some reason, I thought they did. That's fine, we'll just have to switch over to something that can actually take care of themselves, like Warrior. There we go. Now we should be safe. Anyways, 26.5, 22.8. Is it here? No. I just had the ping. Ah! Okay, how would you get here normally? I assume jump through that gap in the railing right there to get to here. Alright, this one's available during fog weather from 6pm to 5am Eorzean time. And the emote is Lookout. The abandoned Amagina Mithril Mine. The discovery of Mithril in a small copper mine in Blue Fog triggered the Great Rush, which saw, uh, saw would-be prospectors flock to the Sea of Spires in search of quick and easy fortune. The veins that ran through the mountains, however, were not deep, and it was but ten summers before the mine ceased to yield the precious metal, forcing many to abandon their claims. Unfortunate for them. And the hint. I didn't know what those madmen were going to do with me, and I wasn't about to find out. When the fog descended, I snuck out across the collapsed pillar. Lucky to be alive, I, though I do wish I had the luxury to enjoy the view. Such were the adventurer's words, and I would see what he saw. Alright, so the hint is that there's the... Uh, Lambs of Dalamud here. Got it. Alright, next up. Here in Eastern Thanalan, we're heading for coordinates 25-2, 14-7. Uh, this one appears during the extremely stormy weather, during showers. Okay, 25 to... this way. Up in this cave. And I believe, I think I've got an idea what we need to do. It is available from 6pm to 5am hours in time during showers. The emote is... can you guess? Pray. Overseer of Wealth in the Afterlife, proper obe uh, obeisance to the Traitor Thal is required for those who wish to take belongings accumulated in this world to the hereafter. Thal's respite is often used by the stout devotees of the Order of Nald Thal as a place of fasting and prayer, but its distance from Old Da prevents all but the most affluent from making the journey. Alright, and the hint. 
Those who do not pay proper ob obeisance will find their fortunes all too fleeting. Those who do will feel the tears of mercy washing over them like the pouring rains. Such were the initiate's words, and I would see as he saw. All right. Next up. Here in Outer Linosia, we're heading for coordinates 15-4 and 10-1. Available during rain and showers, I believe. Yeah, looks like rain and showers from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Eorzean time. And let's see. Uh, 15-4, 10-1. So... Here-ish? Oh, hold on. I've got an idea. It's going to be... Okay, but how do you get up there normally? Okay, I can't quite get up there. How about... Jump to this. Then jump up. Then jump up. Jump up. There we go. And yeah, right here. Okay, the emote is supposed to be... Well, I don't have that in my list. Not on that list, at least. Fair enough. It's listed as lounge on the uh, sightseeing log helper, but apparently it's just sit. Well, few have ever seen the lord of this humble hideaway, which rests precariously on the edge of an unscalable precipice, let alone obtained his permission for entering the premises, that has not stopped travelers from taking full advantage of the respite the, uh, the location offers, whether it be a dip in the seeming pools or a field bell slumber on the soft goose feather bed. Hey, maybe whoever built this cabin just wanted it to be a place for people to rest. And the hints. Someone actually lives here? Lives there? I'll believe it when I meet the man. Still, you'll not find me complaining. It's a fine place to sit down and rest your weary legs for a spell. Such were the adventurer's words, and I would see as he saw. Alright. Next up. Alright, next on our list is up here in Mordona at the Wrath of Frost. We are going for coordinates 18-7, 17-7. So that's going to be directly east. Right about... Here-ish? Up against the tree? On the tree? Maybe right in front of the Mark of Thaliac? 18, 7, 17, 7. So a little bit more this way. Sometimes these coordinates just are not sufficient. Okay, do they have additional notes? Use... Oh! Got it. This is a jumping puzzle. I guess we're supposed to get on top of this. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. I think use this now. This to get up onto the tree. And then from there onto the rock. Got it. Okay. I don't need to execute that. I've already shown how to do it. Not like it matters when we have flight, but... Alright, the emote, as usual, for most uh, most of these is Lookout. Wrath of Frost. The fall of the Agrius into Silver Tier Falls not only drained the magnificent multi-tiered lake, but instantly crystallized the majority of the region's flora. A result of mass quantities of cerulean fuel reacting with ether released upon Midgard Swarmer's death. Where what remains is a brilliant yet dead landscape akin to a twisted garden pocked with blooming geodes. Yeah. Alright then. Let's check out that hint. That's going to be on page four, I'm guessing. Yep, right here. In fields of crystal, I stood tall atop one of the stones and took in the view in all its shimmering desolation. Such were the adventurer's words and I would see what he saw. All right, next up. All right, next one takes us to North Shroud. We're going for coordinates 18.5, 19.6, up at the Exali logging rounds. 18.5, 19.6. Where's that gonna land us? Ah, okay, here then. So I'm assuming we climb up onto here and then sprint and jump. Oh god, I aimed that horribly. That was terrible aim. But then I assume we sprint and jump to the middle log. Oh, come on. Well, that sucks. That's very annoying. Ah, 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 ah. 
Come on. Just... I got up there. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And I'm just accepting my win. The Exol have never taken well to their banishment from the Black Shroud, and to this day continue to fell the hoary sentinels growing on the forest outskirts. Too heavy to drag back to their settlements in Natalin or far away Zelfatal, the ill-gotten lumber is tied to balloons buoyed with Ixali airstones and flown to the Beast Tribe's homeland over, under the cover of night. Alright, and let's look at that hint. I stood there atop the butchered arbor, my fist trembling in anger. Those who would harm our forest home must be shown no quarter. Such were the sentry's words, and I would see as he saw. Alright then. Uh, four more to go for today, I think. Alright, this next one takes us to Western Linosia, 19, uh, 19423-1, it looks like. Right about here, and I believe we want to land on top of this. Oh god, okay, you want to do jumping to get on top of this middle spire. Uh, thank goodness we can just fly up here. Taking advantage of the chaos left in the Calamity's wake, a large force of Sahagin rose from the seas and laid claim to Halfstone, a distant Lomincent settlement on the far western edge of Lenosia. To prevent any further swells of beastman forces, a massive wall was erected between the enemy-occupied lowlands and the allied Skull Valley. Alright, that is number 29, Tide Gale, and let's take a look at that hint. Overheard in an alehouse, when I've misplaced my goods, I climb atop the tents and scour the ground below. Offers a clear view, and you'd be surprised at how sturdy they are. But yeah, you want to, uh, use the banners and boxes to get up here, then jump onto one of those poles, and then jump up to the middle pole from there. Alright, like, five popped up with a, about two minutes of availability, so that's probably the only one I can get. They're closing in 11 hours in minutes, so next up. Oh, and I almost forgot to note when this one appears. This one appears from uh, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eorzean time during clear or fair skies. The weather is why I only had like a couple minutes to grab it. All right, next one takes us to Camp Bronze Lake, 39.22.5. So up this way, on top of the building, maybe on top of this. Uh-oh. This is another one with a very, very very tight uh, window, so is it down here? Ah, here we go. The formation of great underwater fissures during the Calamity saw nearly half of the water comprising Bronze Lake vanish in the span of a single night. The result was the uncovering of ancient Nimian ruins submerged for thousands of years, most notably the Wanderer's Palace, a temple dedicated to the god Oshan. All right, how do we get up here? It's just a climbing puzzle, I assume. Up onto the awnings, probably from there. No, can't get up there. Well, there's surely some way to climb up here. Okay, so apparently it is like... Yeah, you... Get up onto the cliff from the awning, and you get to the awning from the barrels, and then you jump up. Alright, the hint is... Overheard at a tavern. Nothing like feeling the cool breeze on your skin after a hot bath. The view is nothing to sneeze at either. Next up. Oh, and before I forget again, clear fair skies, uh, 5 to 6 p.m. Eorzean time. Alright, next on the list is, uh, takes us to the Golden Bazaar up here in eastern Thanalan. Available from... 8 a.m. to noon, Eorzean time during clear or fair skies. This one's a bit of a jumping puzzle. I was practicing it off screen so we could actually do the jumping puzzle and not just fly to it. But uh, you start up on top of the hill nearby. You can climb up the hill pretty easily. It's just a path up. Uh, but you climb up here. And then I think sprint jump? Yeah, sprint jump to here. Then it's really easy to screw it up, so it's preferred to walk over to the sightseeing spot. But it's right here. Alright. Once a waypoint for traders making the journey between Gridania and Ulda, the rise of settlements such as Camp Drybone and Highbridge have all but rendered the once prospering hamlet a ghost town. 
Rumors of mithril deposits in the nearby mountains and treasure in the ruins of the invisible city, however, may work to rekindle this dying ember. Alright. Yeah, it is a little bit out of the way. Now you can just go... Previously it would have been you cross the bridge, come up the hill to rest. Why was, why was it built up the hill? Probably for quarrying reasons? Or maybe the elevation was advantageous for, like, uh, seeing monsters incoming. But now, Highbridge itself has a settlement, and Camp Drybone is over here, so... Now you can just either rest at Highbridge or at Camp Drybone. You don't gotta go out of your way. Alright then, let's take a look at that hint. A ghost town? Ha! Mark my words, I'll make my fortune there. When the sun is high, I climb to the top of the fencing and survey the land for untapped veins of ore. Such were the miner's words, and I would see as he saw. Alright, last one for today is coming up next. And our last one we're doing for today is up here just north of White Brim Front. From 8am to noon Aorian time during blizzards. Uh, where specifically is this? Uh, 11, 8, 15, 9. So down a little bit and over a little bit. Oh, okay. So it's on this side of the bridge. Is it down? Is it like on a specific spot on the bridge? Is it just over here? Here, actually, it usually comes with... Oh, yeah, okay, the sightseeing log helper I use usually comes with an image, and the image says right on that lip of the bridge. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Here, in that case, we're going to carefully nudge ourselves off. Immediately press back so we don't fall off, and then make our way around. And we made it! The Frozen Fang. In years past, the hot, hot alpine summers would have seen this fallen Dravanian outlier, blown with maggots and reduced to bones in a matter of days. Now, in the endless winter wrought by the calamity, the carcass rests in the permafrost under a thick blanket of snow, perfectly preserved since the day he was pierced through the hearts by a ballista. Alright, let's take a look. Talking about that friend down there. Hello. And let's take a look at the hints. For number 70, the Frozen Fang, from on high, look down upon the dread carcass. Ah, to have been the hero who pierced the worm's heart with a ballista that day. The mere thought stirred my blood on the coldest of days. Such were the knight's words, and I would see what he saw. Alright then. That's it for sightseeing logs for today. Just 30 left in a realm reborn. We are making good progress. I'll try and do another sightseeing video sometime during patch 2.4, and then we'll get the last 20 during patch 2.5. But with that, I will see everyone next time as... What are we doing next? Let's see. Now that the sightseeing is done, next up... Ooh! Time to revisit an old friend. Time to continue... Journeying with a gentleman inspector. I will see everyone next time for that.